come on here and show you what I keep in my craft box. Now I think uh, I've mentioned, but in case you haven't watched it, I did a vlog about when we were initially thinking we were going to move to Seattle. I had really pared down all of my art supplies and my craft supplies and all of that into this small box here. When we used to own that house that I used to film in, in my older videos, I used to have a whole room dedicated to crafts. It was the craft room, and it was pretty much just filled with a drafting table, a whole shelf filled with supplies. All my books were in there. I had a closet filled with crafts. I never used it. <laughs> as much as I like to, I really didn't utilize it. A lot of it was just sitting there and gathering dust. And so when I started to pare down, it got smaller and smaller, and I finally got most of it to fit into this, which is uh, a hobby box uh, from the container store. And I think, I mean, a majority of it is in here, if you don't count uh, Midori inserts and... Um, some like sticky pads, uh, post-its and things like that. I've got a, uh, a box of mini stamps and uh, all the cool things that my brother bought back for me from Hong Kong and China. So that's kind of overflowed from here, but majority of everything that I keep is in here for all of my crafting needs. And so I thought I'd kind of give you a tour of what I keep in it. So, like I said, I got this from the container store. I think it's the small hobby box. It works out well. It's kind of clear on top, which I like, so I can kind of see it. Keeps everything pretty, pretty organized, and I like that it's got organized um, trays in there. So, opening it up... As you can see, there's divided trays, which I really like, and it really works out well for keeping small things corralled. In here, I keep uh, a washi tape sample stick that a pen pal once sent me, some Hello Kitty pencils from my childhood, a gold and silver Sharpie pen, or Sharpie markers, a moleskin pencil, dry erase marker, I think this is a pointer and a little drill tool that my husband didn't use, um, eraser, and a pen. So that is all kept there. Up here I keep just a little, I don't even know what you call a die cut? Yeah, a die cut. These actually don't really belong here, but I didn't have anywhere to put. These are actually wooden hair pins that my cousin bought me from China. So I've got a collection of those. So you know how if you like tie your hair up you can like stick it in. So these are handmade. So I just kind of keep them in there because they're just safe. Crochet needles. Um, the tool that you use to clean your, um, your fountain pen with. A sample of masking tape. Instead of taking the whole roll with, I actually just unwound it onto this little spool to keep with me for like watercoloring. An X-Acto knife. This is actually a tool from when I used to work at Apple. A folding tool. And that all lives there. In this tray I've got tape, my mini uh, stapler, little vintage tool, uh, toy, some sort of like geostone thing from, I don't even nowhere. I think it's from a museum. This is a pin from I think London celebrating the Diamond Jubilee. We were there the year that they did it. So got that. Some a lot of this stuff is like just kind of random too. It's not even all craft supplies. Like these are pins from like when I was a child. My parents used to use these on the diapers that we had for my brother and I. Um, these are shells from Portland and this is like a vintage pin. I don't even know where I got that. Some patches of like 
little bee patches that my mom had in her sewing kit for the longest time, and they just kind of make me think of like me going in through her sewing kit as a child. I don't even know what these are for, but like these two, I think they were from like a hair curling kit that my mom had, so it's like childhood memories. Like a little fake plastic needle for like when you teach kids how to sew. I had a kit like that, so that was like from when I was growing up. An old donut keychain. Um, the little bit part fell off, but he used to hang on my husband's keys. He kind of looks crazed. <laughs> a Batman pin that my brother gave me. Some crochet counter pins that a friend gave me once. And some wooden die cuts. Wooden spools for washi samples and whatnot. Staples. A bunny stamp. I think this is from Typo from years ago. And little glass jars or vials, whatever you call them. I like these. I used to have like a whole bowl full of these because they just make me think of Alice in Wonderland, which is one of my favorite books and movies, and they just make me happy. But I scaled down to just having a few. Okay, so I've zoomed in closer here to the second level tray, and these are slightly larger where I've got chalk ink stamps. These are the Versa Magic. Uh, Dewdrop ink pads. I like these because the colors don't bleed through on Midori paper, so depending on how dark it is, it might shadow a little bit. So if you use the 013 inserts with the super thin paper, these work out pretty well. I've got a Heidi Swap date stamp. I'm actually going to need a new one soon because it ends in 2016. So I have that. Um, these are like more items of things that I really don't use, but I just have nowhere to put them right now. This, these three, or these four stamps back there are actually stamps from an old Barbie post office set. Like, it had the whole post office set up and it actually came with stamps that I have here. I honestly don't know where to put them right now, so I'm just kind of keeping them safe here. So, if you took out a lot of the mementos, I actually would have a lot more room in here to keep things in. I've got a color box, chalk ink, and chestnut brown. That's what I use for stamping all of my journals, um, numbering them. I've got some silver bulldog clips, Dior ribbon from the tea that I bought at the Dior event in Harrods about a few years ago, some vintage lace that I use. I like to use like vintage lace for tying letters together, like letters that my pen pals send me, um, notes that my husband writes me. Um, tying them together with old ribbon just kind of makes it very vintage -y and cool. Twine. Under here is a stencil from my design days. I've got a stamp. This actually came with a wood block, but I actually ripped it off and just stuck it to a post-it note. Um, so it's just less bulky. It just says uniquely handmade. I've got a Studio Crafts uh, Happy Mail stamp. And back here is just a Tim Holtz film reel tin. I actually took the film out because um, I wasn't really using it and I actually keep more little glass bottles in there. Um, measuring tape. Some fabric castell markers fit perfectly in there. And then I've got some Totoro stamps that fit here, an Alice Wonderland stamp. This actually came in a whole kit where they were unmounted, and I actually just picked out my favorite ones and donated the rest. So, more Totoro stamps here. And these are two little stamps, I think from the dollar section at Michael's and then a little mini stamp of the Queen. I like mini stamps because they they don't take up as much room. And I don't really stamp a lot so um, I don't need to have big sets. Down here under um, the two trays is where I keep a bulk of my craft items. So I've got a Fisker's pair of scissors. These are sentimental because my mom performed a wedding ritual 
with these scissors. Um, it's just something to do with like cutting your hair a little bit. Um, to have a proper marriage or prosperous marriage and all that. Um, so I just kind of keep them here. I really don't use these scissors. It's really just a sentimental thing. Once in a while I will, but these are really good scissors. So I keep that in there. Muji stamps that kind of have a, like a checked off to-do list um, design on it, which I really like. A friend once gave this to me. It's a little tin with Frank Sinatra on him because uh, I really, I love Frank Sinatra. And inside I keep old Chinese coins and my friend, the same friend, got me a couple rocks from Westminster Abbey, the grounds. Um, and so I just keep that in there. Some pretty um, headband material. I was going to do something with that, never did, but just wanted to keep that in there. Lots of glue sticks. Lots of adhesives. More adhesives. This is a glue stick. This was actually a set of Woodstock paper clips, but I keep all of the other paper clips that I wanted to keep in here, and I donated a bunch. And a big stack of these are sticker flakes. So owls, Sanrio characters. I've got some of these library style cards, some vellum packs here for photos. Keep red envelopes in here because when it comes to that Chinese New Year time, I'll come in here and put some money in there for my little brother. More library style cards. These are labels from a flow magazine that I have, which I kind of wish I'd kept out because that came with a lot of cool supplies in there. More sticker flakes. Some big journaling cards. Oh, just one actually. And some pretty envelopes. Glassine vellum envelopes in all different sorts of sizes. More sticker flakes. Holy crap, I have a lot of sticker flakes. Oh, and more sticker flakes. In case you're wondering why I have so many, I actually got a lot of these from um, when my brother went to Hong Kong and China, so that's all there. She sticker sheets. Um, a card of paper clips that I did have in my Midori, but I took out, so I just kind of stuck it in there. Some little ephemera pieces and more vellum kind of packs. These I featured in a haul. These are Teresa Collins clear pieces and then the regular journaling, journaling cards. Stack of these kind of slides and then some stickers. Down here I've got some little gift tags. These are from Ikea. They actually make some really nice, like, good quality ones and I like the graphics on there so have some of those. These are from like Knot and Bow, I think. Is that what the company's called? Uh, these are part of that Alice in Wonderland stamp uh, set that was unmounted, so just stuck those on the bottom. Pretty much all the journaling cards that I have, um, these are stickers, but I used to have this whole kit that I just picked out my favorite ones. I really don't use them because I don't do project life, but I like to stick them in my journal once in a while. So I have my favorites in here and that's pretty much all I've got. And in this old phone case, oops, I keep some, what's in here? Little charms and whatnot, some wooden die cuts. I had a bunch of these all divided into like little beaded cases and whatnot and so, like, big ones. And that's all I've got now. And that works, because I really don't use them. Uh, this is that Tim Holtz film strip stuff. I just kept a little. And all of these are actually the Midori stickers, which I took them out of the boxes of. So the packaging wasn't as bulky, and I didn't have to pack all of the boxes with the packaging. So there's the dairy one. Well, it might be hard to go through these, but those are all the different stickers that I've pretty much got, and so it's a lot more organized in a fashion. In this old soapbox, I've got tools. Um, I drill this tools like little drill bits, 
This is the stand to my wood burner. I keep my wood burner separate from this because it doesn't really fit in here and my hot glue gun's not in here. Um, these are the little tops to the wood burner that I have, some pencil lead. So these are more or less just like tools that I don't use often. So that fits perfectly in this kind of little tin. I like saving these kind of soap tins for organizing small items like that. These are Midori Traveler's Notebook cards that came in all the boxes for those stickers. And finally, I've got a tin of all the washi tape sheets that I have. So, that is pretty much it guys. That's everything that I have for crafting needs. If you want, I can do a tour of my craft cart, which is a Roscog um, cart from Ikea. So this kind of sits on top of that and then the rest of the cart kind of houses all the things that don't necessarily fit in here like my mini stamp collection and note cards and letter writing for pen pals. Things like that. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and let me know if you guys have questions on where any of this came from, I will try to, to the best of my ability, uh, let you know where I got it. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are feeling inspired to maybe pare down on your own. Maybe, you know, do a little clean out of your own craft supplies. So, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to keep up with more videos, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.